What's up everybody, I'm Derek and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be doing a little tip video on how to navigate the blacksmith and some of the cool things that I discovered while messing around offline. So you already know you can buy and sell items, which is cool in case you need to buy anything. If you can notice, you can sell your stuff or you can buy it back in case you sell something you don't want to sell, but you can sell it at a discount. As far as rare items, I can't buy too many yet. So over here is where you have special finds. This is where you have rare items from time to time. You can check back. Sometimes there's rare exotic weapons in here or items, but sometimes it's kind of basic stuff. And that's kind of be the principle of this video here. So if I go to Weapon Forge, you can see I can make different weapons. And if you look over here, you might be wondering, rarity level, what does that mean? So depending on how many of these items you use when you're preparing this weapon, it will tell you the rarity level you can get. You can get common, standard, rare or exotic and it goes from left to right depending on which if i if you see this weapon over here if i want to get more if i want to get rare i'm just just make the base item based on what's available to me but then the higher i go up at this point then i can start getting into the exotic category and it tells you the percentage chance of you getting that actual item the more rare ingredients you use the higher chance you have of creating that rare weapon so now the benefits of in here is soul match it allows you to bring up the level of a lower weapon for example, say I have an exotic, and exotic is going to be the purple, and this is level 28, and I have a common, level 36. If you look on the right-hand side, it will increase the strength by that much. But the exotics, the, the, the classes of the weapons actually have more to do with the abilities that come with them inside of them as well. So, for example, if I look over here, this exotic item has four special effects on the right-hand side. And if you look, the next level down has three special effects, then two special effects. And if you go down to a common, you have one special effects. So what it seems that the end goal of this game is going to be is how can I get a god roll on my weapon? And would that, whether it be if you use unique weapons, some weapons and equipment have special gear on them, like special effects. For example, I'll go to the West of the Warrior. See, Warrior of the West Honor. You can see on the right-hand side. And that's a unique skill you can't get rid of in addition to his four skills. So the best thing for you to do is hold on to all those old old weapons that you get in the beginning of the game that are exotic because at that point you can actually bring them back up as, into escape. You can actually spec them up by forging them with weapons that you have at a higher level. So my example here is my dual katana over here. I got this weapon about in the first or second level of the game but i just held on to it until now i was able to raise the level to level 38 which was actually stronger than a lot of other weapons i have in the same category because it is exotic and if you look at the ability points on the right hand side i got this one over here and it looks like ability points actually scale as well in terms of rare common rare and higher and higher and higher up until exotic ability points so this one ability jam increases damage in proportion to your agility so, based on my character's agility, I actually get a damage increase. So, if I go here, look at my character, my agility is currently a B. So, that means I get even more damage buffness from that skill on that weapon. So, the next, thing, next question you might have is, how do you get your agility B? Your agility B is based off the equipment you have on. So, if you look at my, if your top right says 55.8% of my equipment level, that means that I'm at about a 50%. I still have some wiggle room, so I'm not too slow. I'm pretty fast. So the higher, the heavier equipment you equip, that starts to go higher and higher and higher. Which the next level is going to be, will take me to a level C in case I equip something heavy like this. So let me get something a little heavy on. If I put this on, then I put something like that on. You can see now my agility has dropped to a C. Let's go back and check it out. Um, there you go. So my damage is not going to be increased by that much. So. You want to see what weapons can I use and which items can I use to give me the most optimal output in battle. The next section I want to talk about is reforging. Well, this is when you have a weapon that has some abilities. They say, well, I want to see what else I can get. I got a damage here. You can just press the option button if you're not sure what it does, if you want to keep it or not. And you can just keep on respecting. And it tells you in the bottom right how much it's going to cost for you to do this until you get your desired ability. So say I want to get rid of this. I guess. Hit that, go to reforge, and there it is, high attack break. And I can just keep on trying and trying and trying again until I get the item, the ability that I'm looking for and I'm comfortable with. So once you finish your, once you spec your weapon now, you soul match it to raise this level up to make it stronger. You reforged it, you got all the abilities you want on it. Now you can go to refashion. And the cool thing about refashion is say I have this weapon over here. That looks basic, but I wanted to look really cool and bad. Okay, you know, Neo sold his life. 
We can go over here and say, I want you to take the appearance of this weapon because it looks so cool. So this weapon is going to have the same stats, same abilities. Everything's going to be the same. The only thing is going to take the appearance of this weapon. How much does it cost? $1,000. All right, let's see. And ta-da. Now that weapon resembles my Neo Katana. Lastly, you can disassemble. Say you want pieces. So you're, you're, in the, you're in the business of making new weapons and you need equipment. You need materials. This is where you can go to get all the materials you want. So it's, that's why it's very beneficial to pick up every single weapon you come across in battle. Because they're going to benefit you one way or another. So I hope this video was beneficial to you guys. I hope you guys learned something from this. If you have any more tips you want to add, please add them in the comment section below. I want this video to be a learning environment for people since the game is new everything i say here could change in the future as the game gets updated as a game as we learn more and more about the game but comment below some tips you have so we can build a community of people that want to get better and learn more about the neo ecosystem thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video subscribe for more neo content till next time dear gamer signing out